In this video, we will try to solve your question on consumers and producers surplus. This question was asked in Telegram channel of EconMaths. The question is like this. Given the demand function is PD is equal to 25 minus Q square, where PD denotes the price and Q denotes the quantity and supply function is PS is equal to 2Q plus 1. Assuming perfect competition, find consumer surplus and producer surplus. Okay. So we are being given demand function is uh, PD is equal to 25 minus q square uh, ps which is our supply function that is being given us 2q plus 1 we need to find out the uh, consumer surplus and producer surplus how do we find first we need to see what we are being given we are being told that there is perfect competition when we have perfect competition then what will we do we will equate a uh, demand is equal to supply to get the price and quantity here okay so at equilibrium equilibrium demand is equal to supply okay so demand is this that means 25 minus q square should be equal to a supply that is 2q plus 1 simple first uh, let me draw this graphically also uh, to get a sense here so we have quantity on this axis we have price on this axis okay so at equilibrium we know demand is equal to supply let us say this is our demand function okay let us say this is our uh, supply function like this okay this is our supply function so at equilibrium uh, demand should be equal to supply okay so this is our demand curve this is supply curve let us solve this out then okay so we have q square transposing this here this becomes positive q square we have plus 2q okay then uh, we have 1 when we transpose this it will become minus 25 so this becomes minus 24 okay i hope i make myself clear here i have solved this and i got this result and set it equal to zero okay simple enough now uh, this is a quadratic uh, function we can split uh, the middle term okay so using middle term formula here so we should get two numbers such that uh, the sum of the two numbers should be equal to two and the product of the same number should be equal to minus 24 okay so let's guess this out so so it is very uh, pretty easy six is minus 4 okay 6 minus 4 is 2 and 6 into minus 4 is 24 okay so this is how do we split middle term sum of the numbers should be equal to the coefficient of middle term and product of the number should be equal to the constant term okay so i can write here q square in place of 2q i will write 6q minus 4q okay plus 6q minus 4q then we have uh, minus 24 in place of this i can write it like this uh, 6 is into minus 4 okay so 6 into minus 4 is 2 minus 24 6 q minus 4 q is 2 q okay so let's factor uh, the first two terms i can factor out q i will be left with q plus 6 is okay in the last two terms this is all this is one term okay only one term don't be confused here so then i can take minus 4 minus 4 common i am again left with uh, q plus 6 and set it equal to 0 this is also equal to 0 now taking 6 uh, q plus 6 is q plus 6 common q plus 6 is common we are left with q minus 4 and we set it equal to 0 that means either uh, q plus 6 is equal to 0 which we are uh, q minus 4 is equal to 0 if q plus uh, 6 is equal to 0 it will give us the value of q is you know uh, q is so q is equal to minus 6 and here q is equal to plus 4 quantity cannot be negative so we rule out this q is equal to minus 6 term here or the value of quantity okay so actually it was a quadratic one so i have uh, it would be like this our demand curve would have been like this okay 
quadratic one but i have for the sake of simplicity simplicity uh, shown it here as a trend okay so we got the value of q is equal to 4 okay that means at equilibrium quantity demanded is equal to 4 so we have 4 corresponding to this what will be the price so put q is equal to 4 either in quantity demanded or quantity supplied function just plug here so it will be much easier so when then p will be equal to 2 the value of q we got here 4 uh, plus 1 so this is uh, p will be equal to 2 for the eight again 9 so we got the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity now we can calculate let me draw it here also so we got here equilibrium quantity is 9 now we can calculate the consumer surplus what is consumer surplus simply the difference uh, between the price a consumer pays for an item and the price he would be willing to pay okay so uh, we can see uh, a consumer would be willing to pay at this point but since he is uh, paying only the equilibrium price so the difference between what he is willing to pay and what he actually pays gives us the consumer surplus okay so uh, let me repeat the difference between the price a consumer pays let us say here it is nine for an item and the price uh, he would be willing to pay for it okay gives us the consumer surplus in this case the consumer surplus will be simply the area which is above the equilibrium price and below the demand curve okay so how do we calculate then a consumer surplus so we can calculate consumer surplus let me write it here consumer surplus is simply equal to consumer surplus is the definite uh, integral from zero to equilibrium quantity and the integral of demand function so what is our demand function this 25 minus 25 minus q square okay minus total expenditure what is total expenditure p into q so i can write it like this minus p into q okay so this is like this don't get confused we have the integral only on this so let us solve this now we have a zero to equilibrium quantity so quantity is uh, four so i can write here four okay now what is the integral of 25 so the integral of 25 is 25 q so let me write it here cs will be equal to integral of uh, 25 will be 25 q okay uh, so let me write it here also dq because we are integrating with respect to quantity so we get 25 q minus integral of q square is q cube upon 3 okay and evaluating it from 0 to 4 simple stuff minus price is 4 quantity sorry price is uh, 9 uh, price is 9 into 4 okay so what is the consumer surplus simply uh, the integral of the definite integral of demand function from uh, from this is 0 to equilibrium quantity so up to this it gives us actually uh, this term this term gives us the area of this trapezoid okay and to this we have to subtract the total expenditure what is total expenditure price into quantity okay when we subtract this uh, rectangle from this trapezoid uh, looking shape we will get the area of this value triangle simple enough okay so just evaluate it at upper limit so we have 25 into 4 25 into 4 minus we have 4 cube upon 3 uh, minus evaluating at lower limit since, since lower limit is zero and this whole stuff will become then zero i will not evaluate it at lower limit so it will become zero minus nine four the 36 okay so 25 into 4 is 100 4 4 the 16 4 the 64 we have 64 upon 3 minus 36 is so this is 100 minus and uh, 3 2s are 6, 3 1s are 3, 
ओके थ्री टू जार सिक्स थ्री वन जार थ्री पॉइंट थ्री सेवन जार ट्वेंटी वन सो इट विल बी लाइक दिस सॉरी थ्री थ्री जार नाइन माइनस थर्टी सिक्स सो दिस बिकम्स हंड्रेड माइनस पॉइंट थ्री शत आ गई सात त्रे गई पाँच फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री सो हंड्रेड माइनस फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री विल बी सिंपल First, what is meant by producer surplus? Simply, the difference between what the producer sells it, uh, what the producer sells it is good for that means and this price, okay, and the minimum price it would be willing to sell for it, okay. Our producer would be willing to sell its product at this price, but since he is selling it at the equilibrium price so the difference between these two gives us the producer surplus and mathematically or graphically what is producer surplus so producer surplus is let me write it here the producer surplus is simply the total revenue sorry the total cost so total cost is price into quantity minus the definite integral from 0 to equilibrium quantity and the the de definite integral of supply function and what is our supply function 2q plus 1 okay 2q plus 1 simply we see what is the total cost of the producer sorry what is the total revenue for the producer and to this we subtract the total cost total cost will be this very trapezoid a looking shape okay with respect to dq the way i calculated consumer surplus same stuff but uh, here first we write p into q that is total revenue minus this the integral of supply function okay so Price into quantity. We we calculated this is uh, nine into four. So this is nine into four. So this is thirty seconds minus. Uh, we have here four. Okay. Then uh, we can write it like this. We have two q. So two the integral of q is q square upon two uh, plus integral of one is q by rules of integration and evaluated from zero to. Four okay, so we have thirty seconds minus this will get cancelled. So evaluate it at four. So this becomes four square, four square. Mm, then we have uh, plus four. So this is thirty seconds minus four four or sixteen. Share of the two are given. So we have this stuff here. Thirty six minus twenty comes out to be sixteen. That means the area of this triangle. This triangle is our producer surplus, and this is our consumer surplus. Okay, so our producer surplus is fifteen, sixteen, uh, and consumer surplus is uh, what we calculated here, fifty forty-two point seven. Okay, I hope I make myself clear in this video. Simply, we were being given given demand and supply functions. We were being told there is perfect competition. We need to find the consumer surplus and uh, what we call the producer surplus. Okay, first we uh, uh, since it is perfect competition, we find first uh, equilibrium price and quantity. Okay, by equating our demand and supply function. Okay, supply and demand functions intersect when. Q is equal to four and P is equal to nine. After that, we just calculated consumer surplus using the formula. That means the consumer surplus is simply uh, the definite definite integral from zero to equilibrium quantity, which is four, and taking the integral of this very line, okay, minus the total revenue, okay. 
and similarly we calculated producer surplus i hope i make myself in, clear in this video thank you